A follow-up to a story we have followed for a couple of weeks. You may remember we told you about a woman who said the Navy and the Virginia Beach police wrongfully arrested her. It was a case of mistaken identity. Now there's the question of the woman's civil rights and were they violated? 10 on your side's Kiana Patterson spoke with the Virginia NAACP and joins us from the control room. Yes, the NAACP and the Do Right Things organization are investigating how this happened and they want to make sure that this does not happen again. Civil rights advocates are working to get answers on how Navy wife Jacqueline A. Smith was arrested on J.E.B. Little Creek, jailed in Virginia Beach for two days, then released on a $5 bond. When I look at Ms. Smith, I, I can't help but see my daughters. Virginia Beach Police report Smith was arrested on a warrant out of Baltimore with the same first and last name, as well as the same birth date and birth month. Police claim the social security number and fingerprints were also the same from an FBI database. Three different agencies failed me, the Navy police, the Virginia Beach PD, and the Sheriff's Office. Yet Smith has a different middle name, and the women are three years apart in age. Smith believes Navy and Virginia Beach police blurred the two identities. After our reports, the Virginia Beach NAACP met with the Virginia Beach police chief last Friday. I thought it was a great meeting that we had with the chief, and I do want to thank him for being so open and responding so quickly. It was a very frank meeting, uh, but at the same time, there still are uh, some unanswered questions. There still are some inconsistencies because, again, the comments that we heard uh, uh, from Ms. Smith don't necessarily line up with what we've heard. Virginia Beach police say Smith will now have to resolve the matter with Baltimore County Police. This original warrant that was actually issued could have been done in error. And so now we're talking about the possibility of getting federal uh, uh, authorities involved. The FBI would not confirm to 10 on your side if there is an investigation, but this group will continue to press for answers. We want to ensure that there is no pattern or practices of continued discrimination in any shape or form. And I think that's one of the things that we want to make sure that the community knows that the NACP is working together. And I did reach out to the Virginia Beach Police Chief for an interview with Wavy News. I am waiting to hear back. But the Virginia Beach NAACP plans to meet with the sheriff tomorrow. As Smith says that she had several health issues while in the jail. We will continue to follow this story. Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.